from this default Django admin to this newly unfold theme Django admin. So welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you on how to change the default Django ad theme to this new Django admin. So first of all let me take you through my, my Django project setup. I had created this blog website. I've already run my server. Let's see how it looks from the backend. This is my backend interface so this is what we are going to transform this theme okay so first of all we are going to use django unfold django unfold is a modern django admin theme for seamless interface development you can see how it looks i will leave this link in the video description so that you can check it out we have given the documentation on how to use it on how to install it and everything on how to customize it to use django unfold so first of all, let us understand what is Django Unfold. Unfold is a theme for Django, admin incorporating most common practices for building full-fledged admin areas. It is designed to work on top of default administration provided by Django. Okay, so Django Unfold uses Tailwind CSS framework for its styling. So you can see the features, it has visuals, provides a new user interface based on Tailwind CSS framework. Sidebar, dark, dark mode supports both light and dark mode versions, configurations, dependencies, actions. We have dashboard inline tabs, model tabs, colors. It has a lot of features. I leave this link in the video description so that you can go through it. So let's let us get started transforming this default Django admin so first of all let's use the documentation on github okay so first of all we install we install django unfold okay just copy it then go to my terminal let me stop the server let me clear everything and then install django unfold okay next thing you want to do is add uh, add this okay this is very important. Ensure you add the unfold inside your installed apps. Let's add it right here. And this is very important. Ensure that you add it in the top at the top of your list at the top of this Django dot country dot admin because Django default uses this one. So if I run the server, we should be able to notice. There is a change in, our, in how our default Django admin looks. So this is how it looks. If I refresh, you can see it has changed. Okay, it looks way better than the default one. You can it has these features. You can you can log out. You can change you can change the mode of. We have light. We have dark use the system so you can see it looks way better but it's not as as it's supposed to be you can see these inputs are not well styled so we need to customize that as well so to do that it is very simple go to your app go to your admin this admin right here then you can see the, the when you register Plus admin is, is inheriting from admin dot model admin, but now we want it to inherit from unfold. So you can see our classes are inheriting from admin dot model admin, but we want them to inherit from unfold. So what to do is from unfold unfold dot admin port model admin port model admin. Now we want our classes to inherit model admin from unfold instead of using admin dot model admin. Okay, so if I inherit from this model admin, we shall see those fields being styled using Tailwind CSS so nicely. So let's refresh this. You can see now they look more, much more nice. Can see they look way better, and then you can see as well on this. Okay, you 
can see now you look much better than you were so the next thing you need to do you can notice on these on these groups and users they haven't styled them well this is because these are default so you can see using the documentation not registered admin models coming from third party packages are not going to properly work with unfold because parent class by default these models are registered by using django.country.model model admin but it is needed to use unfold.admin.model admin solution for this problem is to unregister model and then again register it back by using unfold model admin so so we are going to use this technique first of all we need to import these two these okay so let's import all of that and then paste it paste it right here let me paste it here so what we have done we have imported these user admin and group admin and also the default user Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to unregister this and then register it again. So you can see admin dot unregister. So we are going to unregister both user and group. Admin group. This group. So we need to unregister them and then register them afresh. Okay. We have unregistered them. Now let us register them again as the documentation suggests. So let's copy this. Let's copy this. And then paste it there. Okay, you may notice that. Now let us refresh. Refresh this. See the group. You can see now it looks much better looks much better okay you can see if the status is true it has this green we have the filters we have these as well it's customized field looks nice than than the default one so guys that is how you convert that is how you transform your default Django admin to this new looking admin interface so thank you for watching if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing and also like and also leave a comment in the comments section bye bye